Mid Ocean Ridge, longest mountain range on the earth. Ocean, a mysterious region on the earth, holds many secrets. It is estimated only 5% of the ocean has been explored. And just in 5%, many discoveries have made scientists wondering if the entire ocean were explored. Insane discoveries would make many jaws to drop. Tallest mountain in the world is Mount Everest, and the longest mountain range is the Himalayan mountain range. But this is not the longest mountain range on the earth. It is under the ocean. You might be thinking the longest mountain range is on the land. But it's not. It's under the ocean. There are two well-studied mid-ocean reaches on the earth. It's the Mid-Atlantic Ridge in the Atlantic and the East Pacific Rise in the Pacific. Before we let you know more about these two Mid-Ocean Ridges, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. What is a Mid-Ocean Ridge? Mid-Ocean Ridge is the long chain of the mountain underneath the ocean. It's a volcanic mountain range that is responsible for bringing certain changes to the Earth. Despite being a noticeable feature on the Earth, Many details about the mid-ocean ridge are still unknown, and it's yet to be discovered. Other than the mid-Atlantic ridge and East Pacific rise, there are other mid-ocean ridges on the planet. It is estimated that only 1% of the mid-ocean ridge has been studied in detail. Let's begin with the mid-Atlantic ridge. This mid-ocean ridge is estimated to be a 10,000 to 300,000 years old ridge buried under the water of the Atlantic. It got discovered in the 1950s, giving rise to the theory of seafloor spreading and acceptance of Wegener's theory of continental drift. Alfred Wegener published a paper explaining how continents on the Earth changed their position. His theory was discarded back then. The theory of continental drift was not accepted because he didn't suggest a mechanism for the shift. Rather, he believed the spin of the Earth was enough for the movement of the continent. This claim of Wegener got rejected by geologists, saying that rocks are too strong for that to happen. After the Mid-Atlantic Ridge got discovered, his theory started getting acceptance. Though his theory was not convincing, his claim on continents changing their position is true. A study on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge revealed that it is a huge mountain under the Atlantic made of plate tectonics, and it separates the North American plate from Eurasian plate in the North Atlantic, and the South American plate from the African plate in South Atlantic. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is 16,000 km long, and its width is between 1000 km to 1500 km, and its highest peak reaches 3 km from the ocean level. This mid-ocean ridge is 1700 m to 4200 m below sea level, and sometimes it rises above sea level, forming an island or group of islands. What does the Mid-Atlantic Ridge have to do with the movement of the continents? Mentioned facts regarding the Mid-Atlantic Ridge don't seem to support Wegener's theory much. The next fact we reveal does support his theory. Research has disclosed that these plates are still moving by 2.5 cm per year in an east-west direction. If the shift in plates is continuous, we can expect certain changes in the position of continents, at least in a million years. When the shift in the tectonic plate is analyzed, it seems like North America and Europe are moving away from each other. This ridge is considered a slow separating ridge by scientists. So, what causes the shift in the continent? This is because of the convection current. The heat from the inner earth causes a current of hot rising magma from the volcanoes and cooler sinking magma to flow which causes plates to move. Actually, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and the East Pacific Rise are volcanic mountain ranges. And when the volcano erupts, it causes the continents to move in a certain direction in few inches. East Pacific Rise 
The East Pacific Rise runs beneath the Pacific Ocean and is roughly parallel to the west coast of South America. It lies 3200 km off the coast. This mid-ocean ridge separates the Pacific Plate from the North American Plate, the Cocos Plate, the Nazca Plate, and the Antarctic Plate. It is 10,000 miles long and about 6,000 to 9,000 feet tall. Just like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, the East Pacific Rise is also spreading at a speed of 6.3 inches per year. With this speed of spreading, East Pacific Rise is a fast-spreading center. The East Pacific Rise is expanding rapidly than the Mid-Atlantic Plate because East Pacific Rise is comparatively hotter, which means more magma is present beneath the East Pacific Rise which results in more volcanic eruptions. And more volcanic eruptions means plates separate at a higher rate. When continents change their position, they will surely have impacts in other aspects. Like, it can influence sea level. When sea floor spreads, it's very obvious that the sea level decreases. Movement in tectonic plates has brought many changes in the Earth's geography. The map you look today was not the same 100 million years ago. There weren't seven continents and five oceans. The geography of the Earth was very different from today. That's what scientists claim. The land on the Earth was not distributed like today. The Earth had one large portion of land. Without much distance between two land masses, it took millions of years for the Earth to have this geography. There are studies that state how plates are responsible for moving landmass on the Earth. One such study is on India. India, which is now part of South Asia. It's not part of South Asia at least 90 million years ago. Scientists believe that India separated from Madagascar 90 million years ago and merged with South Asia. It took millions of years for India to travel the globe to collide with Asia. It is estimated in the process of merging with South Asia, India was moving at the rate of 15 cm per year. It took about 40 to 50 million years for India to become part of South Asia. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Stay connected, we have more videos to come.